the goal of the book is to make things more complicated for people thinking about policing from the outside, not to make it simpler. I mean, you, you've seen this over and over. There's this kind of whiplash where either police are self-sacrificing underappreciated heroes or they're brutal racist thugs. And it can be really hard to inject into that conversation more nuance that says, you know what, there's good there, there's bad there, they're mixed up together. And if we actually want to transform policing, we need to, we need to be grappling with that, uh, all of that. Um, so in terms of what would make it better, I think part of it, part of it, as you know, police can't change the laws by themselves. You know, police can't change the social context. And I think often police get the blame for enforcing laws that they didn't create in a, in a social context. They can't do much to change. And in a way, I think that's, you know, when, when we blame police for that, it's a way for the rest of us not to look in the mirror and say, oh, you know, cops are arresting people for really trivial offenses and we think that harms the community. Well, we voted for the lawmakers who wrote the laws that led cops to do that. 